Today's video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. So now we play this. Alright. And then exile the Kenrith. Pass to the opponent. And we should be good now, because now we can counter whatever they play. And GG's! And we got there! Woo! If you enjoyed the deck in today's video, you can purchase it from our sponsors at Card Kingdom. And for a limited time, you can get a Scoop Soldier sticker for free if you drop it in your order notes at checkout. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Fish 5 with me, yours truly, your host, Krim, also known as the Asian Avenger. This week, I'm playing Loris Control. That's right, I'm back on my jam. I'm on Control, and I'm on Grixis. Uh, the initial idea came up from somebody named Rattleclaw. Uh, they sent me this deck list, and then, well, they sent me a deck list that was similar to this, and then I moved a ton of stuff around. I added Sprite Dragons, uh, I added Neutralize, and whatnot. But the thing that I really didn't think about was, like, Meadowmise Prophecy, and, like, you know, I've been wanting to put Soul Guide Lantern in the main deck, so, uh, you know, this list kind of just perfectly worked itself out. And I, you know, changed up the sideboard a little bit here and there to go us, go and give us life gain uh, through Enter the God Eternals while also milling ourselves. Extinction Event is perfect for our deck because it exiles and it gives us a sweeper. And on top of that, we've got Agonizing Remorse. It's just more hand disruption for the bigger decks like Teamer Reclamation and whatnot. Unmoored Ego, maybe for like Luka decks, because this way they have to play the fair game. Not, ne not necessarily guaranteed to win the game for us, but it makes sure that at least our stuff doesn't get stolen. But yes, you're right. You're used to seeing all all the Lurus decks all over the meta, but the thing here is Lurus in, in this deck plays very differently, and once again plays the whole out just because we're all using the same companion. We're not exactly the same archetype. Because our archetype is, well, yeah, you've seen my love for my favorite guild leader, Lazav, who can, uh, when it enters the battlefield, surveil one, I can pay X and copy, it becomes a copy of target creature card in my graveyard. Naturally, you know you gotta throw in Kroxas, a play set of them, because it's my favorite titan, and it it plays the game plan I love, and turning Lazav into a Kroxas is kind of like a very good feeling. But on top of that, we have Sprite Dragon. Or Dorat, for those that have the Godzilla variant artwork. Uh, which gives it so that, first off, Lazav can have haste. While also, just Sprite Dragon is just good on its own because it pumps itself up and giving counters for all of our spells. And then, of course, we have Neutralize. Tons of counter spell, uh, like magic, like between Mystical Dispute, this. We also have, like, a Singleton Drown in the Lock. Uh, and, and, you know, like, we have tons of removal, just like Eat to Extinction. Uh, and, and, of course, Discovery Dispersal, Wada Wada. So, we've got a, we're a very controlling deck. Uh, we function on a low curve. We very rarely, like, everything that we're doing on our turn, that source, like, is either going to be two or less mana, usually, outside of, like, Luris, and or hard, like, escaping a Kroxa. So, without holding you up any longer, let's see how this variant of control does in a league. Ooh. We don't have much to do in the, or, like, the first two turns because our, our lands are all tapped. So, it'll be fine, though, because we do have a sweeper. Um, alright, let's go ahead and go scrying. Yeah, let's go ahead and bottom the Fabled Passage. That's the equivalent to just not drawing a, an untapped land. Alright. So opponent's got blue source, blue source. No companion. Blue white. Okay, so it must be full. Then yeah. Alright. Now we need a second black source. Um, let me think here. Our counter spells are turned off. So it's probably blue white, and it is. Brazen Borrower? No, we're gonna get rid of Conker's, uh, Elspeth Conker's death. Throw away that Mystical Dispute that has no purpose. Um, Thought Erasure? You know what? May as well. Uh, just do that. I'll go ahead and cast Thought Erasure next turn. With Dispersal up. Let's try this. Or, I mean, we can go ahead and cast Discovery now. Actually, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do that first. All right, let's cast Dispersal, see what we find. I like it. I like it, I like it. Um, let's see what they've got in their hand. If it's counter spells, that's fine. Sure. So they must have nothing then, right? They can always bounce that back to their hand too. All right, cool. And I'm going to keep the Soul Guide Lantern as a way to just go ahead and start exiling the cards in their graveyard. Yep, yep, yep. We... Will he bounce that back to his hand is the question. Yes, he will. Good call. All right, so it's Jeskai Control. Huh. So we've got to start watching out for, like, ultimatums and things like that. Sure. Uh, let's see what we've got in 
on the top here. I think I do want the Watery Grave on top, so this way I can go ahead and play Bedevil. And then if it resolves, I can go ahead and fire off uh, Hold Up Neutralize. Alright. Pass to the opponent. So are they going to just play Brazen Borrower again? I mean, they can. Like, it's not like I'm going to kill it. Not at, not at sorcery speed. However, the next part will be the problem. Will I be able to actually resolve my kill spell with Bedevil? Right, fires, yeah. That's pretty good here. So it's just guy fires. So now that we know they don't play counter magic. All right. We're going to go ahead and kill Teferi. All right. Hold up counter magic. Uh... We do need to find a way to deal with the fires, but right now I guess we'll just hold up counter magic. Dispersal was a clean answer to that, uh, so that's odd, odd, even. I'm going to counter that because they have more odd spells than they do even, creature-wise at least. Alright. I did not want another copy of this though. Ah, oh, boy. I guess I could just exile or crack this draw card. Yeah, I'll just draw a card. Alright, Kroxa seems reasonable. 4, 6, so... I can't afford to have them going and just... Huh. Let's just go ahead and play Kroxa. They'll probably discard a land. Right? And now if they top top, that means they probably have Brazen Borrower plus... They're probably gonna try to play like Cavalier or something, right? Alright. Opponent's turn. So yeah, it's definitely Jeskai Fires. But like the old school version? Or maybe it's like got like Luca and all of that too. And I just... But what, they would definitely play a companion. Alright. Cavalier of Flames. Yeah, that's fine. Those are two odd costed cards, right? So that's good for me. Only thing I'm concerned about is it when they find their red Cavalier. Okay. So, we're going to try to go ahead and uh, fire this off on odd. I mean, I know that it resolves because they have fires. Alright, so those are gone. Pass to the opponent. I don't know if we have the luxury of, like, actually casting anything. I, I feel like we're probably going to lose this matchup. This one's a little bit tough, right? Because they've got the castle, they've got fires. We've got exactly what they're looking for here. Alright, um, I guess I could just play Kroxa. 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, let's see, what else don't, what don't we want here? Mystical Dispute, sure, we'll get rid of that. Alright, what are they gonna go find? I don't wanna play Luris, because I think they might have Elspeth Conquer's death at this point. boy. Do I need another land? No, it's not even another black source. Yeah, I'll just hold up the mana. Represent that I potentially have more than one thing going on for us. Okay. How many lands do they have in the graveyard? Two? Alright, I'll just go ahead and kill this now. Alright. Opponent's gonna scry with the castle. Potentially they find something else. Alright, no, they didn't like what they saw, so they might throw away their two cards in hand. By doing this, it mitigates the damage I take. I'm taking two, as opposed to three, which is all dandy with me. Elspeth conquers death, that doesn't do anything. Alright. So let's go ahead and play Loris here. Play the Lantern. Lantern will exile... Cavalier, just in case. I don't know, for some odd reason. Alright. So, we have... We have to fade one draw step, right? That's all we gotta fade. Well, at least we have a blocker. Alright. Um... Let's just go ahead and exile the opponent's graveyard. Really have seen that 
There we go. Got rid of all of that. Sure. My turn. Cast the opt. They have nothing. Actually, I don't even know why. I just swing, right? They're dead. Just to ensure that they're dead, though. Or no, no, no. No, no. They're not dead, dead. Yeah, they've got to they've got to block my Croxa, or else they die. Right? Because they because they have to discard here. Yeah, oh, I guess they could gain three more life on top of that, right? Uh oh, uh oh, they could block Luris. No, they wouldn't. There's no reason to, right? So now we play this. All right, and then exile the Kenrith. Pass to the opponent. We should be good now, because now we can counter whatever they play. And GG's! And we got there! Woo! That was insanely tense, because, you know, normally with fires out, it's not looking great for us. So, oh my gosh, that was super close. <laughs> we could have super died there, but you know what? I'll, I'll take it. I'll take the W's where I can get it. Um, Myers Grasp, probably not relevant here. Soul Guide's Lantern has been pretty solid. Tyrant Scorn, a way to bounce, but not necessarily the greatest. Um, Sprite Dragon, yeah, just another way to attack the opponent. Can I bring in Negate against them? I mean, it's nice to have Negate, but I think Agonizing Remorse is also really good. I don't know how many one-for-one -one spells we could play, though. Um, Miller Cells with Enter the God Eternals. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go down to Agonizing Remorse here. Drown in the Lock is still a removal spell, but we are exiling the graveyard a decent amount. I'd probably rather just have a negate there if I even were to play it. Okay, so I think I'm going to cut an extinction event. Yeah, l l let's not bring an extinction event. Okay, so this hand's actually really good. I'll keep this. We have Thought Erasure on two. Potentially we get Mystically Disputed, but you know, whatever. Uh, I think I have to keep Bedevil. That's just a good answer to the Teferi. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and fire it off. They mystically dispute it. That's unfortunate. Yep. Like, the reason why I would wait is because once I know they slam Teferi onto the board, I know it'll be fine, right? Like, to, like... So, ooh, okay. So they didn't have what I thought they did. All right, then. I guess we'll pass. Because, yeah, if we waited till they jammed a Teferi, we could have definitely resolved it. Which seems pretty important right now. Okay. Opponent got in there for four. Let's see what they play. Hopefully they try to jam a Fires or something like that. That's awkward. All right, let's just go for this. Uh, let's go digging. All right, Watery Grave, not the greatest, but it's something. And, of course, nice. So we got that to resolve. Um, Can I afford to... I guess, you know what, I have to get the red source. Now I think about it, if I don't get the red source now, because I have until the end of their turn, right? I got I to gotta kill this Bone Crusher Giant, and then that way I can hold up all my counter magic. And then the turn, I could also just, what, potentially... So I take 4, go down to 12, take 2, go down to 10. Then I shock, go down to 8. Alright. Yeah, this way I can hold up. I can play Croxa and hold up Neutralize. Alright, resolved. Perfect. Croxa, please. Go and do something. Alright, nice. Feels good. What will the opponent be discarding? ECD doesn't do a lot against us. That's why I, I'm actually a-okay. I, I, that's why I love this deck. It just doesn't really care about Elspeth Conquer's death. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and scry. I'll keep that neutralize on top. And we'll go ahead and just play Croxa. All right. So one card in hand from the opponent. And then pretty soon we'll be able to... Oh, yeah. We're definitely countering that. Uh, let's go ahead and play Loris. I think I'll, I'll actually hold on to my cards here. Maybe I might need to counter this. Yep. 
There we go. Counter that. Then play Kroxa. Kroxa will then eat the last card in hand. Alright, sweet. Uh, This is my only way to deal with their... Oh, but I get a red source out of it? Perfect. I don't want to reveal the red yet. Alright, perfect. That's what we wanted. We wanted them to, like, start playing all... Like, force them uh, into playing all their cards. Uh, cast with escape, of course. One, two, three, four, five. And now we have all that we need. Kroxa plus Lurus. So we can block anything like a Kenny coming down. Uh, we can block Cavalier. All right, I think we take this match. I mean, they could draw a sweeper. They're down to eight, though. All right, their turn. They, this is like down to their last draw, right? So they got to go find Shatter the Sky. If they find Shatter the Sky, that's still not the end because we could play Kroxa again. And they go down to five that time. All right, Legion Warboss it is. And that looks like... Yeah, because even, even if they block, right? I'm going to just play Kroxa. Keep my oh yeah, never mind. This is great. Uh yeah, I mean let's just go ahead and play this. Keep the new one. Or the the current one. Which one would I like to keep? I'd like to choose the, that you wish to keep. There you go. They have a discard here. Full beans. Attack. They're down to two. They obviously are gonna block Kroxa. And GG's! Oh, yeah. I'll keep this hand. This hand seems fun. We'll see how good it is, but it definitely seems fun. No companion. Nice. So that means we get to go turn to Dorat, a.k.a. Borat, the perfect pet. Oh, man. Yeah, land perfect. This deck is so much fun, dude. I love this deck. And Madome's Prophecy is something that was like, I didn't even think about until uh, the person that brought the, a version of this deck to me, like, brought it up, and I was like, whoa, wait, that seems perfect here. Oh, no, I played the wrong land. Oh, well, I guess we're going to have to do this. Um, Red source, another disperse, discovery dispersal. I have one removal spell. I think I'm going to move the land to the bottom and the discovery to the bottom. I need to find removal. Because I think this is Johnny's Pride Mate's about to get out of hand. And then, let me think here. I can go and play... Oh, wow. Flying a Johnny's Pride Mate? Probably a lot more threatening to me. Choose a card name. Alright, now I just hold up the Shock Land. I play the Shock Land. I go and Bedevil. Probably the Bloodthirsty Ethereal... Uh, like, Ear Aerialist or whatever. And then, let's see, what do I do here? Dawn of Hope. Whenever you gain life, you may draw. Well, I mean, that's a problem. Let's get rid of the Bloodthirsty Aerialist. Uh, we'll see if I have to shock this turn. I am taking a lot of damage here. All right. Now I could cast Thought Erasure. Yeah, you know what? Let's cast Thought Erasure because I feel like I need to figure out what they're doing. And enter the battle of your life total. Become the total toughness of creatures you control. What? When life in enters the battle, when life in life enters the battle, until become total toughness of creatures you control. Total toughness. Okay. Well, I guess I'll get rid of the that thing. Yeah, that's fine. Throw Kroxo away. That's actually exactly what I want to see here. And now I can scry... Block? Do they have a way to gain life here? I don't think they do. I mean, I could be proven wrong here. Alright. So we have an island. I'd like to shake the island. How do I get rid of that island here? So two mana. I can turn Lazav into Kroxa. 
playing Dorat grow it. I don't want that island. That's all I know. So I guess, yeah, I've got to do this. We'll, we'll turn this into Kroxa. Check. Play Dorat, right? I guess I don't mind drawing it because what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead. And let's get rid of the Bloodthirsty Aerialist. This has Life Link, if I recall. Check. I can draw a card, though, so that's not bad. Like, I could sack the Soul Guide Lantern to draw a card. Yep, yep. And now... We wait till we get... I can actually even block if I wanted to. Like, because technically that Kroxa and Lazav are two different cards. We have a tap land. I mean, we knew about the tap land. This grows that. They can choose to draw a card here, which I assume they will. Uh, let me think. If I block, that puts the sixth card into the graveyard. That then allows me to... No, I can't. I can shock and play Kroxa this turn, actually. Considering how painful my mana base is, I think that's totally a reasonable line. Uh, block. Okay, so now they have to choose between those two. Alright, let's play Kroxa. And now, let's go ahead and have, like, attack with Lazav. A Lazav will then clear both cards. All their cards in hand will be gone. Perfect. Also gone. Now, I do want to draw a card, but I also like exiling your graveyard just in case. So, you know what? I actually might need to hold on to this Discovery Dispersal. It's my one of only two ways to put him actually in a dis like a pickle here. Either A, discard a Johnny's Pride Mate or discard Dawn of Hope at some point. Because what will happen here is Kroxa and Lizav will trigger. I'll have to discard two. I like it. I like it. All right. Nice. Johnny's Pride Mate on the defensive. Do they have anything they can bring back? All right, let's exile their graveyard. Okay. This cuts them off life gain. They have to discard it. Yeah, let's go ahead and make them dispersal. Get rid of Luris. They have nothing to discard. Ooh, I'm... Mm, no, I'll, I'll move that to the bottom. And now they have to block or they die. Actually, they're still dead either way. It doesn't matter. And yeah, GG's. The team of Lazav and Kroks is still at it again. Still good. <laughs> still good enough. Okay. Extinction event seems important here. Enter the God Eternals will be important for me because I'm going to definitely target their stuff, gain some life, discard my own things again. Uh, let's see. Three cards out. Sprite Dragon? No, Mystical Dispute doesn't seem great here. I'll, I'll chop all the Mystical Disputes. Do I want anything else is the question. We'll find out if I need Agonizing Remorse, but I don't think I do. Because I assume they're going to bring in discard spells. And the last thing I need to do is top deck discard spells. Okay, game two has begun. And I'm going to mulligan. <laughs> oh. All right, this hand's not as good as the last games. But Madome's Prophecy might help us get there. Let's ship a Watery Grave back. All right. Maybe I should have let off with, uh, I think I, I should have let off with the Fabled Passage. Could have potentially played Kroxa. But, doesn't matter, now we're just gonna go with Madomi's Prophecy. Or Metamize. Uh, I don't think I want any of those. I think I, I, I want some actual, like, interaction with my opponent. That isn't a counter spell. Uh. You know what? Let's name Soul Guide Lantern. <laughs> not even gonna not even gonna fake it. Not even gonna fake it. Just actually telling you what I have. Alright, so they're casting Luris. I'll probably counter that. Get it out of here. Interesting. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with this first. We're gonna take the line of playing Kroxa. And let's see what they discard. Still living up to the Soul Guide Prophecy. Alright. Soul Guide Lantern. Draw two cards. True land opt. Okay. Not the greatest, but alright. Respectable. Okay. Opponent drew a black source. 
All right, so Vindicative Vampire is pretty much a uh, a blood artist, right? It's another creature you control dies. Okay, not any creature, thankfully. Um, I guess I'll keep a Heartless Act. Removal's not bad here. Oh, that's nice. A Bedevil on top of it? Heck yeah. Okay, so we know what's on top of our deck. Let's just go ahead and scry that land away. I don't think I want that. Uh, can I afford to play Luris? Like, if Luris gets picked off here, it just feels like bad value, right? So I may as well just pass. I mean, I can get back uh, Metamized Prophecy with Luris at some point. Uh, yeah. Seems good. A Johnny's Pride Mate seems good. Let's go ahead and try to pick off... Like, the Vampire can stay. That's fine. Because our only sweeper is Extinction Event, and that actually exiles, so not too worried. Do they have instant speed ways to gain life, though? Put a flying counter. Okay, oddly enough, that's actually a really good counter to my Heartless Act, so... any If they have another one of those, it's going to feel kind of bad. Yup, alright, cool. Let's sack this to draw a card. Alright, Thought Erasure is actually, like, really respectable in this spot right now. Ooh, Myers Grasps. Yes, I will. All right, let's take a look at their hand. Chanted Creature can't attack or block. Now, let's get rid of the Aerialist. Extinction Event, perfect. So, even odd. Let's go ahead and equip Myers Grasp over here to our Vindicative Vampire friend. Pass. Oh, perfect. Right into the Extinction Event. Just what I wanted, actually. And I'm going to name Odd, so that means I can hold up. Let me think here. Yeah, we just play this first. Get rid of the non-permanent cards that I can't get back. So they get rid of their pacifism. I'm not going to block their vampires. And even if they play something like a Johnny's Pride Mate, that's not the end of the world for me. Let's play Luris now. I feel like this, because we're not going to do anything else anyways. Oh, no, 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 wait, that's right, it's an odd cost card. It's fine. Alright, we'll just keep doing this over and over, right? There we go, pick that off. Uh, probably don't need a, a, a Kroxa. We'll bedevil here. And then now we just start closing out the game, right? Nice! Alright, so next turn they're dead. They have to have a sweeper here, and GG's. All right, and we got there. Okay, let's take the play. Oh, no lands. That's not great. Oh, that's even worse. Mulling down to five. Okay. Um, I don't know what the opponent's playing, so I'm going to just hold up opt. Actually, no. Yeah, I'm going to shock hold up opt here. I think we could potentially get there on five. Depends. Okay, well, they're on mono red. This is not going to feel great. <laughs> All right. I I'm actually going to need this metamized prophecy. All right, let's go taking a look around. We do want the land. So what are we going to name? Right? Because, like, the issue is, like, if we name Extinction Event, they'll know what we're doing, right? So I guess it's not the worst to just bluff it and say, oh, come on. Oh, actually, no, I mulliganed. Ha <laughs> ha! Played around your, your robber of riches. All right. I can name... Extinction event. I can name Discovery Dispersal. Let's name Extinction event. Pretty straightforward about it. Let's go digging. All right, opponent's turn. The issue is like I, maybe I could have named something. I could have named anything else. Actually, I can name Luris. I think. But I want to actually draw the cards, that's why, because we mulliganed. So it's a bit of a pickle here. Normally, if I didn't mulligan down to five, I would have definitely just, like, I don't know, thrown a name into the ether, right? But Extinction Event is a card I'm definitely casting next turn. By naming it, it also slows them down from, like, applying pressure. They'll have to assume that, okay, well, he's going to want to exile the two creatures I have on board now. All right, Robber of Riches. So I guess we're naming Even. Yeah. All right. I mean, odd, you can keep those. But yeah, even even is probably where I want to be. Even. 
Because Robber the Riches will eventually do something, and that's that's going to be a problem. They have nothing in the graveyard, so Drown the Lock does nothing. Torbrand here is a huge dunking. So I take three. I'm down to six. Comfortably, of course. Ember Cleave. That's not good for me. Yep, yep. So I'm down to three. I'm dead this turn. All right, so they have a land. We have a door at. This is the way it's got to go. Got to exile. Or I got to kill that. I don't even know why I shocked. I could have gone down to one. I could have stayed at three. But then the issue is like if they have a haste or something, I want them to attack with this. Okay. A shock, a stomp, any of those kill me. We know they have a mountain. Alright. Hmm, that's awkward. I only have one red source. I guess I could just play Luris. I think we have to take a shot here, right? Play Luris, put Myers Grasp on it. The Scorch Spitter. Hopefully our Luris lives and they don't have a Haster that can equip immediately. And a shock. If so, then we can live. Gain our life back. Okay. Currently still okay. All right. I can hold up counter magic? Oh my gosh. We could potentially come back from here. That just gained us three life back? Oh man, Luris, please, I love you. Good kitty, good kitty. All right, no way. Do I wanna play Dorat for this? Into that, yeah, I just counter whatever they play next, right? Seems good. Yep. So now we can go and scry. Oh, yeah. Get that control value. It's like a Snapcaster every turn. Look at that. Look how good that is. Uh, I may want to keep the red source. Yeah, we'll go with the red source here. Anything with haste that the, I would care about would be Robber of the Riches, which I can't let, let happen anyway. So, yeah, I'll just attack with both. Let's just, like, start... Closing the closing out the game here. So we're up at seven, so I don't have to worry about them like burning me out with anything. And I'm gonna name Bedevil. I'm gonna name Bedevil. Alright, cool. Wait till next turn. I'll go ahead and blow up their Ember Cleave. Oh man. From one. From one. <laughs> we could potentially win. And now we counter the, like, the Torbran. Nice! And we still got there! <laughs> Woo! Mull the five. Down to one. Back against the wall. That's when I shine. That's how... The comfort zone, baby. The comfort zone. <laughs> um, Soul Guide Lantern, probably not as great here. Mystical Dispute, still kind of irrelevant. I mean, Cry of the Carnarium, however, is very good. Okay, I think I think I have everything I need now. What a game. What a game. Uh okay. So I need a, a black and a red source. So hopefully I'm gonna just lead off with watery grave. Go into what is probably thought erasure. I mean I do have the extinction event. Oh, but that changes things a little bit, doesn't it? No, but I can't shock. That's the thing, like I can't be shocking all willy-nilly. Alright, fervent champion into Scorch Spitter. That means I'm gonna probably have to fire off a Thought Erasure just in the event that they have an Ember Cleave. Alright, Rimrock Knight is a problem. Everything is odd? Yeah, everything is odd. Currently, everything is odd. Oh, man. The Robber of the Riches with the haste off the top. That feels real bad. What do they eat? A land? Okay, so I've got to play... Dude, I'm still almost dead next turn anyways. Oh, jeez. What a... Terrible time right now. Um... Play the red. I think I'm still dead either way, no matter how I look at this. And I'm gonna have to move... I want to make sure I leave a land on top. Alright, there we go. Two, four, six. Eight. It doesn't matter. I'm dead anyways. Sure. 
Right, because there's no way around this. Yup. I guess I go to one. Take five, go to one, name odd. Yup. Alright, well once again, you know, at one, my comfort zone. So, you know, this is this is good. This is good. All right, pass to the opponent. Hope they don't draw anything with haste or a good card off the top of my deck. All right, opt is not what I want them to have at all. Because now they can actually go dig for something useful. Just, just like get stuck, draw lands. Oh no, there's no way they kept a land on top. Show me the burn. Oh man. All right, this allows me the chance to sit back, know that they're going to probably exile the top card of my deck, right? Toblerone. Yeah, sure. Toblerone happens. Thin the deck for me, thank you. So we got to kill Toblerone. Let them exile the top card, move to blocks. Black, black. All right, cool. Ooh, almost, almost clicked the wrong land. Almost clicked, okay, whoo. All right, get rid of the, the robber. Play Luris. Hope for the best here. Please don't kill me this turn. Please don't kill me this turn. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! It's always the turn. The turnaround turn. Oh, man. What a bummer. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's just take it. I think this is fine. Man, we did better with five cards. <laughs> you know what it was? If they didn't have that opt, they wouldn't have been one card closer. <sighs> Can I keep this? There's no interaction. I have a body on, like, early. Now I'm gonna mulligan. Okay, this is much better. I'm going to ship a neutralize back. Okay. So we ship a neutralize back. Having Myers Grasp is really good here because that can pick off all the red cards, right? Like all the little creatures. Uh, I really want to make sure I get to land number three. So I'll move Kroxa to the bottom. I don't have Lazav anyways. Yup, Fervent Champion. Seems about right. I'm actually going to shock to cycle. I need a cycle. I really need the card. I need to hit the land. Yeah, robber. Let's cycle. We did not hit a land, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. Extinction event gone. Still no land, unfortunately. All right. I got to get rid of robber of the rich here. Robber of the rich is going to continue to keep eating my cards. Yep. Scorch spitter. All right, we drew a land. Do I play Kroxa to eat the card in hand? Hold up the counter spell and or cycle. Yeah, I'm gonna just cycle. I'm gonna try to hold up the cycle. I really need to get to land number five, right? I'm pretty far behind right now. Is it Embercleave? I didn't wanna do this because I wanted to cycle, but yeah, this is fine, I guess. I get to eat the last card in their hand. Oh, perfect, 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 perfect. So, I just tapped. Eat the last card in hand. Please, deck, let me draw that sweet fifth untapped land. That sweet fifth untapped land, please. Don't kill me, opponent. Give me a little bit. Don't kill me immediately, please. <laughs> just let me get that untapped fifth land. Oh, we didn't get it. We're not good enough. Oh, man. All right my line play Luris no I, I I'll just I'll just hold up removal let's hold up removal oh boy yeah I guess I get rid of scorch spitter that one hits me for two right all right take one please please I need a land I need a land deck I need a land don't do that don't do that to me game don't do that to me game come on not like this not right now. 
Not when I'm sitting on two Ender God of the Eternals. Yeah, we're gonna play the game of hold up removal here. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the Scorch Spitter. Scorch Spitter's gotta go. That's the one that puts me dead. Because that way they go I go down to three, right? Alright, Grim Initiate, that's fine. It's not the end of the world. It having first strike is a problem, but. Let's see here. Oh boy. Alright, which one am I gonna try to kill here? Fervent Champion gets free equip costs. Grim Initiate gets first strike, doesn't matter. Doesn't get triple strike if if I uh if they equip a cleave to it, so. Alright. Milled a ton of really good cards actually, but whatever. Gain four li uh my my life back. Got a body out of it. Robber of the Rich, we're at even grounding here. Both you and I have the same amount of cards. Oh man. Alright, keep that. Play Luris. Get rid of Robert of the Rich. Whoo! Um Gotta put some pressure on it, right? Gotta gotta put some pressure on him. So we'll go ahead and swing in. Good news here is like if I can kill Grim Initiate, Torbrand doesn't trigger uh the token side of Grim Initiate, because it'll be a zombie. Oh man. We're, our engine is currently online. We're on We're right about there. We're about to turn the corner here. What do they have in hand? Electro Dominance. Well, I'll tell you what, I wasn't ready for that. Alright, let's uh place some things now. Extinction event, all these are not things I can ever get back. Sure. Play Kroxa. Knock the opponent for three here. And we have protection in the event they play, I don't know, claim the firstborn or something like that. You got it, opponent. Protection from white, not exactly relevant here. Let me think here. Can I just kill them next turn? I think I can. Yeah. So we killed Unchained Berserker. There's two ways I could do this. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna just attack. They block either one, then I play Kroxa again. I mean, I think the other way was like, obviously I could just, you know, grow my, and actually it's all the same. It's all the same. Actually, this is the more efficient line too, so. <laughs> and the deck gets there again. All right. This deck has an answer for everything. It could be, it could be an aggro deck, it could be whatever I need it to be. <laughs> One lander, no thank you. Two lander, okay, acceptable. Oh man, feels so bad bottoming Croc, uh, like Croxa, as he's like my best friend, but it's okay, it's fine. Um, Soul Guide Lantern, it's against Loris, so it's actually not bad here. I'm gonna just go ahead and play an island and pass. All right, so it looks like it's Jeskai cycling. Soul Guide Lantern's gonna be so clutch here. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be such a good Soul Guide Lantern. Alright. Zenith Flare, that's the one I don't want you to have anyways. I guess I could take care of one of the foxes. So they go Fox Fox. Alright. Um... Droneth Stinger will be a problem, but you know what? I think I want to land. As long as I find a land, I should be okay, right? So let's just make sure, let's ensure that I get that land. Okay, so I got the land that I'm looking for. Perfect. So next turn, if they decide to go and play like Fox again, we'll go ahead and just exile all odd cards, right? I don't know if they have, they don't have the mana to play Droneth Stinger this turn, so save the Tyrant Scorn for that and or Lurus. Okay, take four this turn. How many cards in the graveyard? There's five? Okay, so they can't kill me yet. All right, got rid of both foxes. They don't go in the graveyard either, so that's even more beneficial. All right, Droneth Singer, makes sense. Yup, so they're gonna cycle, ding me for one. Uh, let's go ahead and kill the Drana Stinger now. 
Why are they playing the blue, though? Uh, anything that says cycling. That's pretty much what I care about. So now when they try to play, I don't know, any of their any of their stuff here, like a Zenith Flare, I'll just go ahead and exile their yard. Alright, so exile the graveyard. They have nothing in the yard now. Hopefully we draw a red source relatively soon. Now we're gonna have to have uh duking Luruses. Oh man, now I really need the red sources. Oh man, where are my red sources at, yo? Okay, cool. Thank you. Alright, so I can kill Luris this turn. Uh, There's no point in playing my Luris. I've just got to be able to beat this Valiant re re Rescuer or whatever, but... Yeah, okay. It's, it's their turn. We'll kill the Luris... On their turn. They cycle. I In response, I'll go ahead and kill their Luris. I, there's no point in killing the Rescuer because the Rescuer just gets brought back with Luris, right? So, figured may as well get that out of the way now. Then we'll go ahead and play Luris, get back the, uh, the Lantern. How many cards in the graveyard that have cycling right now? One? I don't know if I can let them have... So one, two, three. So uh, that's three cards plus two damage to me right now. Okay, so that's four damage plus two damage. I'm still not exactly safe either. All right. Good news is that if I if they don't Zenith Flare me, Improbable Alliance. I was not ready for an Improbable Alliance. That's now that makes sense why they're playing Jeskai, right? Okay. Oh, they had another one anyways. Okay. Okay, so those tokens fly. Um, let me think about this here. This is a bit of a problem. Because I can't actually get around. Like, I can't block all their flyers, right? I gotta wait a little bit. Gotta have Dorat. Oh, man. Yeah. I mean, the Jeskai version is just really good against us, right? Probable Alliance? Like, I can't beat that. Take two. Hitting me from all different angles this game. They're not just winning based on solely Zenith Flare. The Boros version we can handle, right? Alright, drew a land. Not relevant. Um. Can I even get out of this? Alright, let's see what they've got in their hand. Land that cycles. That's a problem. Okay, I'll keep that on top. I mean, I guess the good news here is that I can block, right? A decent amount of stuff gets blocked here. If they try to Zenith Flare me, I can exile their graveyard. If they swing with any of their ground units, that... Okay, I could... Okay. They get two tokens this turn. Obviously, that's a problem. Oh, man. Yeah. I'm at one. Alright. Ah. Uh. And then now I swing for... Three, gain three back, right? Yup. How do I get around this? This is going to be a little bit of a problem. So I can kill only one token every turn. Right? And then comes my turn. Oh, jeez. And I have to keep using... 
what I've got here. Sure, block a flyer, you got it. At this point, I've just got to cycle the, my neutralize, right? Because nothing I'm doing really matters against all that they're doing right now. Yup, so now I can block two tokens. Swing in. Go up to four. If they can remove my stuff, that's fine. I mean... I need this other red source that I can't shock for, so I'm gonna have to play it tapped. Are they focused on removing anything of mine? Oh man, that's so good. Yeah, they got it. They got it. I they got it. I can't I can't there's nothing I could do to even draw out of that. Let's see. No, I didn't get it. Oh man. That's so brutal. Yeah, whichever one I didn't block would be the one they would turn into a 4-4. Man. Alright, cycling is a problem. How do we beat that? Improbable Alliance is so good against us. Uh, Improbable Alliance is so good against us. Jeez. Um, we can't interact with cycling too efficiently. Unmoored Ego, I guess I could name... Like, I could go and name that card, uh, Improbable Alliance, but I gotta have it, right? Luckily, we do play a 60-card deck, not an 80. Uh, nothing here shuts off tokens entirely. Uh, boy. I don't think that Mystical Dispute's even good in this matchup. Uh, let's see. Uh, Extinction Event is fine as a one-of. I don't think I need, like, to go up anymore. Oh, boy. What am I looking for from them? I don't know. Like, I, I guess this is fine. I'll just try this. Maybe I should have brought in Negate, but Negate doesn't stop. Like, they never cast anything, really, that's a non-creature, right? They sit there and wait, and then, like, in, like, the primetime windows, that's when they'll fire it off, like, Improbable Alliance. Now, there was a version of this list that I saw that played Vantress Gargoyles. Like, they were more of, like, a mid-range version, and, uh, like, that version was interesting to me. I didn't know, I didn't know why, but maybe now it makes sense, right? Because they, against Cycling, it's a real clock. All right. I mean, they're probably going to counter us into the sun now, right? Uh, let's just keep digging. I mean, we don't have a threat either, so that's fine, kind of bad. Probable alliance here early is going to be real bad for us, and I think they got it. Oh, drawn a stinger. Okay, I can live with that. Let's keep digging. Croxa, sure, that's some kind of threat, right? We're almost at that point where I can just start playing Kroxa. Just three more cards that isn't Myers Grasp and Kroxa itself. So we go fetch land. Well, fetch land doesn't get me uh, a red source because I drew my only red source. Uh, let's see. What does this draw me? Let's see what I can find with Opt. All right. I guess I'll keep that. That's not bad. Play Kroxa. Make him discard another card, which I'm sure they don't mind doing anyways. Sure, which card with the uh, with cycle would I like to throw away? All right, opponent threw away the rescuer. Now I just need to get another red source. They can't cast Luris, so that's nice. All right. Yup. Huh? Do I dare try play? A counter game with them? I don't know. I mean, I guess I'll kill this. Yeah, let's just kill the Dronith Stinger. Pass to the opponent. Next turn we can go... I mean, I know we could have gone Lurus, but I don't want to tap out. Like, Lurus, hold up nat neutralize? Yeah, that's fine. But Lurus, Myers Grass means I'm tapped out. Um, I guess we could test to see if they have counter spells, right? Yeah, let's see if they have counter spells. Alright, pass to the opponent on that, right? Now they cycle the Fox. Makes sense. They drew a white source. Let's go ahead and play Luris now. Drown in the lock seems great right now. So they've got to kill my Luris, right? Glass casket. That's fine. We have the devil. I mean, we'll, we'll see now, right? Like, what are they going to do? They're going to play the stinger. That's fine. I don't know if I actually want to kill Droneth Stinger. 
play kill the glass casket get back the devil or i mean get get back my luris kill this yeah i don't hate that either just do this boom right cast this kill off the stinger hold up counter magic pass to the opponent and so now we are looking relatively okay they have 11 cards in my graveyard but i'm at a high life total i am gonna counter this or try to okay they can't play luris still oh yeah i like this line let's cast this with escape Oh, what can't I bring back? A lot of stuff, so just go ahead and cast this. Croaks, I eat the last card in hand. Play Metamize Prophecy. Perfect. Got them to throw away their other white source that they've been needing. F tuck the Watery Grave so I can go enter the God Eternals. Enter the God Eternals, blow up their Luris that they're gonna play, target myself to mill. Or I guess they can cast Glass Casket, that's fine. All right, cool. Enter the God Eternals, and they're super dead right now. So, oh, yes, they couldn't because they still need the mana. Nice. All right. So, that game went much better. <laughs> um, so, they did bring in some control magic, right, in, like, Glass Casket. Makes sense. They can't bring too much in because it can't be higher than 2 CMC. Unless, I mean, like, they brought in counter spells. I didn't see it. But that isn't, it, the Lurish Restriction doesn't care about the spells. I just, I'm wondering if I am going to see any counter spells. If I recall... The Rescuer makes, it, is, it's, it itself is two mana, or is it three? On the draw now. Might need another Cry of the Carnarium, actually. Uh, Heartless Act kills a lot of there, too. Yeah, I think we'll go like that. We'll get out, get the Unmoored Ego out when we're on the draw. I'm not even sure I entirely need it, but... Vantress Gargoyle, huh. If Cycling starts taking off, which it is a good deck, I'm more so used to the Boros version. I'll keep this hand. We'll go ahead and crack Fabled Passage to go grab an island. Here's just hoping they don't have, like, I don't know, like, some random, like, stifle effect or something like that. Repudiate. Tail's End. Alright, so they're shocking. Play the Stinger. Stinger. Huh. Can I take a turn off? I think I can. Oh. Ooh, I found a land? Hmm. That changes things. I can Myers Grasp, get rid of that. But I, I still want to look at what's in their hand, actually. Alright, so, Drawn at Stinger, the sequel. Fox. That's two damage if I let them keep the Stinger. That costs more of their mana, though. And they won't get to cycle as much. Because I don't have the red source to kill this yet. Yeah. It's fine. Oh, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, do I almost just want to let them deal a bajillion damage to me in one turn, though? Because the, the deck itself is very mana hung, like, like, very low on land count. So, like, having them cast a Stinger means that they're almost done with their turn, right? Okay. And I need to make sure I hit that other land. Huh. Yeah, I need to, I need to make sure I hit the other land. Uh, Once again, Drawn at Stinger makes them spend more of their mana. Sure, let's get rid of that. We're going to take seven potentially this turn. We have to hit the land. That's just what it comes down to. If we do not hit the land, we're dead. We're very dead if we do not hit the land here. Because I'm trying to make it so they spend more of their mana every turn. Right? Cycle, take two. Down to 15. Yep. Now they punched me down to nine. All right. So land or bust pretty much. Oh, man. Should have said untapped. I need that land, but I also need to not die, so... Down to seven. Yeah, it looks like I'm, I'm dead this turn. Like, this, this potentially this upcoming turn. It's pretty hard to beat this deck uh, without the early interaction and the multiple stingers. I mean, we had some early interaction. I, I chose to try to set up my lands. Because if I had hit an untapped land, I would have I would have swept the board, right? I don't know. Do you have a, Do you have your spell? Your Zenith Flare? I'm dead if you do. Go down to three. 
I don't know if I like that. Try to kill this. Do they have Zenith Flare? Oh man, super punished. Super punished. Okay. Oh man, super punished. Okay. Do they have another counter spell? They do! Man, that's so brutal. GG's. Yeah, I can't win from here. They had double counter spell in hand. Yeah, one cycle kills me. Nice. Oh, I'll keep. All right, what's the opponent playing though? Probably want to go and fetch a black source. I have double opt, so I guess it's not. Okay, so it looks like they're either A, playing some kind of Esper deck, but I guess they'd be playing Yorion, right? No, I have no idea. We'll find out. Maybe it's Sultai. Oh, that's really nice if I actually get to draw some real estate here. All right, I'll keep that just for the sake of having lands. All right, force them to remove this, I guess. Are they playing straight up Demir Control? Okay. I don't know if I want another Kroxa. Definitely want some lands here. I can use my Tyrant Scorn as a way to bounce back my Lazav, I guess, if they try to kill it. All right, pass to the opponent. Blank their removal spell, saving my Lazav. Sweet. Uh, I'll keep the land. I think I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to bluff this that I have a mystical dispute. I guess unless, of course, they fire it off right now. Uh, like, they counter this. Drown in the lock. Two cards in the graveyard? Interesting. Okay. I was not expecting that. Alright, your turn. Alright, let's go and try to draw this card real quick, because I do want that black-red source. They can mill everything else. Oh, nice! They milled a ton of lands. Uh-oh. That's not a bunch of lands. May as well fire this off. Huh. They pitched a land. That seems fine. Play this land tapped. Pass to the opponent. These are 0-4s? Yes, yes. They play another one? I mean, sure. Don't know if I want another land. Well, I got one anyways. Uh... Well, darn it. These are odd-costed. Um, yeah, I'll just go ahead and do this. Play Kroxa. This doesn't mean this means that like even if they have removal, they still have to discard their last card. Of course, they could just counter this. But I know that it, like, what mystical do, or like they can drown in the locket. Okay, cool. And then. Play this. Yeah, I want I want to neutralize, that's for sure. So they have three islands at least. They have four islands, so currently any mystic sanctuaries they find can definitely bounce back there or get a spell back for them. Yup. Play again. Drown in the lock again. So I'll counter the drown in the lock. And so now, if this resolves, that means they discard their last card. Yes, it does. Perfect. Okay. Yep, yep. Odd, right? Okay, cool. And now I just go ahead and... Hit him with Kroxa? I don't I don't think I even have to do anything else, right? Like I don't I don't I don't think I need to do anything else. I'm just play Kroxa. I don't need to play Luris into anything. Like perfect. Alright. Got there against Demir controlish mill thing. So let's see. I can exile each opponent's graveyard. I can't exile my own. Is there an upside to keeping this in against them? Let's get rid of a few cards. Yeah, Sprite Dragon will be fine. Good old Dorat. Extinction event can stay in as a singleton. 
I think they play prob like there's no way you play Demir and not play like Liliana and Ashiok, right? But Elder Spell just doesn't feel great there. Uh Tyrant Scorn, I guess, is a way to save our own creatures, so not bad. You know what? I'll get rid of Extinction Event. Maybe it's not useful. Heartless Act, sure, get rid of that too. <laughs> um Yeah, I'll keep this. <laughs> The playset of our, or at least not the uh, full playset, but it's what we have. Oh, come on! Three landers? That feels kind of bad. Don't mill me again. Don't mill me again. Alright, sick. They probably play Ashiok, right? Like the three mana one. But no, no, they don't. They play Drown in the Lock. Unless they board out of Drown in the Locks and bring in the Ashioks. They definitely have removal. That I do know. Okay. Either that or they have a counter spell. Could be like Aether Gust. Probably Drown in the Lock. Uh, okay. Lazav is the one they do want to counter, so... I figure we may as well just let them do their thing for a bit here. Uh, play Kroxa again. Just keep running them out of cards. Eventually, they'll, they'll either A counter something or remove something. Who knows, but... I do want to hold up this mist uh, this opt to make it seem like I have a mystical dispute. Pass. I mean, you got something for me. I know that. I know you got something for my cards in hand. You're not. There's no way you're just generously. Oh, I'll just sit here and hang out for a little bit. I know you got something for me, bud. <laughs> All right. We're about to find out if you do or don't. This this is gonna draw a counter spell. Like, there's no way it doesn't. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Keep the thought erasure, of course. Great against a control spell, a control like deck. Sure, they remove it. You got it. You have a second copy, so thankfully. And then I'm gonna get a red source. All right. Oh, right. It's been milled. Oops. Well, that sucks. Let's find out what they've got in hand. If it's another counter spell or removal spell, it's gonna be hard for them. Nice. Oh, I'll keep that on top. All right, I don't know how, like, th th we've gotta just get this. Okay, perfect. It's exactly what we want. Okay, perfect. Oh, and it, they, it uses both their black mana, so this is actually amazing. Yup. Cool. Now we play Kroxa. Sure. The the little like Merfolk Secret Keeper thing is gone. Uh, play Kroxa from my graveyard. Seems nice. So now I have Kroxa, Lazav. They're staring down lethal for sure next turn. Oh my gosh. Dismantled. Dismantled. Methodically dismantled. I love it. All right, opponent. What you got for me? Nice. GG's, opponent. GG's. Oof. Up against a Yorion pile of cards, huh? So I'll probably go ahead and get rid of that Tyrant Scorn. All right. Uh, this gets me a black source. Next turn I can get a red source. Oh, man. But then the thing here is then I, I mess up the colors, don't I? Oh, dude, no. It's elementals. Okay. I get a black source. Sure. I think I've got to, I've got to actually hold up mystical dispute here. Okay, so they're going to shock in this reading pool. I don't think that's out of their own kindness in their hearts that they're doing that. Do they have mystical dispute to counter me back? Looks like they do. All right. Huh. Interesting. All right, I'll keep the thought erasure. That's pretty good. I'm just kind of holding up my mana to represent that I potentially could have another counter spell. One, two, three. It's not an elemental, so okay. I do have Soul Guide Lantern, so that's going to feel pretty good.
All right, kill the Risen Reef, exile the Uro. Take a look at their hand. What are they working with? Cavalier Uro. Sure. That away. And so now I'll go ahead and exile just the Uro in the yard. Pass to the opponent. And we can continuously exile their yard. Yep, yep. Opponent's gonna cast this Uro here. And we get them to discard more cards. I'm not gonna use this Soul Guide Lantern yet, or maybe I can. And then just play. No, I don't have the mana to play Luris, so I can't. Well, now I do. Why don't I just hold up Counter Magic instead? Yep. There we go. So now we play Kroxa. They throw away a, an Uro again. So they have five cards in the yard. Pass the opponent. Okay. They need one more card in the graveyard. What are we looking at? Okay. So they're not playing anything. That feels good. So I'll probably go ahead and pop this now. Exile their yard. So no more Uro problems. I don't have anything to do right now, so I don't think I'm gonna... Because, like, I think they might have Agent of Treachery, and I need to counter that. We did get rid of, all like, three Uros, so that's actually really good. But we need to get a clock going, or else nothing's gonna matter right now. So we gotta counter this. Alright. Kill their little mana dork there. Make them draw another land. I have enough mana for one more counter spell. Good old one for one gaming, as uh, we all know I love. Can I get out of this spot though? Because like, I really can't afford for them to like go land uh, Agent of Treachery, steal my stuff, and that's like GG, so can't have that. Interesting. Are they all in on the graveyard? Like try to get as many things in the yard? Evolving Wallets. Kind of forgot that was in Standard, too, so. In all honesty, I just need a land. Like, if I got a one land, I would play something. I would play Luris. Either that or a Hand Disruption spell would be nice right now. Oh, boy. If they st if they counter this, it's going to feel bad. Yup. All right, so Resolves. You got it. What are you targeting? My Watery Grave? Or you can try to keep me off Croaksa by stealing my Temple. Because right now you have zero cards, right? Or you have one card. Yeah, there you go. Alright, so they've stolen another one of my lands. Kind of annoying, but it's okay. Alright, let's try this again. Play Kroxa. Perfect. Got rid of an ultimatum. They play Yorion, I assume, right? You gotta. Or you gotta do something. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep attacking. It's fine. Now I get a hold of counter magic against them. Uh, sure, that's fine. Odd and odd, right? All right, cool. All right, get rid of those two. Get in for three more. Force the opponent actually where if they draw Agent of Treasury, they have to steal my Kroxa. Cavalier's good, but not enough. GG's. All right, so we're able to just kill the Cavalier. It doesn't matter what they put on top and then they're dead. All right, and now we go ahead and go to combat. Nice, whoo, got there. Didn't even need land number six, dude. Didn't even need it. All right, so this game is gonna be very interesting because they brought they have mystical disputes in the main. I'm assuming they probably bring in more things like negate. I have to stop their ultimatum, but more importantly, I have to stop agent of treachery. Am I tempted to put it on Mordigo? Because how else do they beat me? They beat me through Omnath? They actually have a decent amount of ways to, like, kill us, right? So, eh. 
Probably don't want Unmoored Ego. Just gotta hope that we have the counter spell <laughs> before they try to remove it or steal it. Then we're gonna bring in Aether Gust. They also have Cavaliers. Interesting. Okay. Let's take a look at my hand here. We took out so many Uros, so that definitely helped. Croaks is nice. Um. Metamized Prophecy is pretty nice. I kind of like it. Myers Grasp helps us deal with like all their annoying little dinky creatures. Tyrant Scorn, kind of the same, but at instant speed, but not reoccurable. Sure, go down one of these because Sprite would need to be able to swing past them. And I guess an Opt is fine. We'll choose the Pirate one because the Pirate one is just my least favorite art. Uh, sure. I'll give it a whirl. We have Removal, Extinction Event. Most of their stuff's at odd CMC, right? Because we have Cavalier... The only thing that isn't is their uh, little 0-3 elementals. I think you live with that. Yeah, because like a grazer uh, is odd. And I guess Omnath is even. So there's two things it doesn't hit. Play Lazav, see if that resolves. Mystical Dispute, you got it. Alright. What do I do now? Because they're definitely waiting until I... Let me think here. They can counter this. They play Cavalier. That's a problem, right? So I gotta pass. I can't let them just jam Cavalier. Fill their yard up. Like, they haven't played anything in the early turns, so this leads me to believe they definitely have, like, some, like, late-game threats in their hand. Between Cavalier or something like that? Who knows? Oh, yeah, and after that... After that play, yeah, I'm pretty sure you do, bud. Alright, we're gonna pass. Odd. Sure. Yeah, that seems good. Although I may have just wanted to fire it off to see if they counter me. Aha! Uh -huh. I like that! Thought erasure. Okay, we'll take a turn off. They counter me, I pay for it. Interesting. Yeah, we just take Omnath. 3-5. Yeah, I'll keep that too. I'll hold up my mana as a way to get removal going. 3-6. Can I afford to let this go through, though? I don't think so. Yeah, I can't- I can't let that happen. Sure. You got it, buddy. 3-6. They have 6 mana. Kill this now. Pass to the opponent. Maybe I should have ju actually just played Dorat there. Oh boy, how do I get out of this spot? I can't let them resolve that ultimatum. But if they draw another land that isn't... Okay, cool. So I need to draw a land right now. So I may just even, uh, like, exile this Arboreal Grazer for the Surveil. Graveyard, don't want that. Alright, pass to the opponent. Leave Kindred, you got it. Pass to the opponent. I really can't do anything unless I draw a discard spell. Like that. Take the Genesis Ultimatum. Alright. I'm gonna play Dorat now. If they counter this, that's fine. It's not a big deal. Give them their value, right? Gotta get them to use it. That means my Luris can come down freely. I just gotta hope they don't draw anything like an agent. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, perfect. Perfect. All right, now we play Luris. Don't need to play anything. Just gonna hold up counter magic. Pass to the opponent. Counter that. And now, oh nice, and we got there. Ah, it feels good to be right back at home in Grixis on control with my favorite guild leader. Getting us the five wins that we needed for the league. We went five and one total, losing to cycling. Uh, and I do think that cycling will be an issue for us because we don't necessarily have a ton of ways to deal with. Like, if, if they start bringing uh, Improbable Alliance and if they're heavily the Jeskai version, then that, that might be a pickle. Now, if it's the Boros version, that we can beat because we have Soul Guide Lanterns. So, uh, we'll have to work on ways to beat you know, the Jeskai cycling deck. However, I, I would like to put cards like Narset, but I just don't think that's going to work because it also nullifies our Lurus, uh, you know, our Lurus companion uh, requirements. 
But if we look outside of that, I mean, we are playing a one-for-one -one game plan, so we have to be very careful when we tap out and whatnot. Uh, there are versions that I saw that aren't as controlling and play like Vantress Gargoyle uh, as a way to fight cycling, and maybe that's another way to go about it. Board into Vantress Gargoyles. Uh, but right now, I like the controlling variant because I just don't want anything to resolve. And then post-board, you know, we can also bring in a few more counter spells and just try to close the game out with Kroxa and Lazav. Uh, as I, right now, I don't feel like there's, like, any, like, crazy amounts of, like, ley lines or anything like that. There are some graveyard decks out there, or graveyard hate things out there, but, like, Graft Digger's Cage doesn't stop our game plan, at least not the Lazav part. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching another episode of Fish 5-0. Uh, as always, I do enjoy having you all come and hang out and watch the content. And feel free to leave a like and a sub and hit the bell icon to be notified when a brand new video comes up. Other than that, your friendly neighborhood Asian Avenger signing out, and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.